I have not picked up my camera in a very long time. Uh, what is going on? Oh, it's just moving weird. But anyways, um, it is officially one week before my birthday and I am so excited. I don't know why, but lately I've just been feeling like the birthday blues. I'll try to explain what it means to you guys a little bit later, but um, I am so excited because I am getting ready for my birthday. I am just about to head out to go to Lavish Beauty Bar. Um, yeah, so let's go. So update you guys. I had to, oh! okay. I had to go on campus to attend a meeting that I had completely forgot about and it ended up going a whole hour and a half long than I expected so I am so nervous that I might not be able to make my last appointment but by fire by force I will make it I'm not joking I'm not missing that appointment I'm gonna make it by fire by force I am back home I am freezing I swear today was like it's coldest as it's ever been um I'm so happy I got my lashes done hold on let me zoom in look how amazing these are I genuinely love my lashes and eyebrows I love my eyebrows like this every time I try to pencil them in and um underline it is that what the proper term is underline overline anyways when i go in with concealer when i go in with concealer it's uh boost my eyebrows a little bit they always come out thick i love how my eyebrows are nice and skinny it's giving it like natural um but anyways i have a dilemma i ordered my birthday dress two weeks ago and it came a week early, which is fine. Problem is, it doesn't fit. So, I decided I'm just gonna order another one. Maybe I'm gonna order a size a little bit bigger. I really thought I was gonna fit into a size two. This dress did not fit me whatsoever. So I decided, okay, I'm just gonna go towards my normal size. And normally when I order off of Pretty Little Thing, I go for a size 4, like a size 4 for a dress no matter what, and this dress is still not fitting. I decided, oh my god, I just told myself I really want to wear this dress for my birthday. I am going to order a size 6. I'm going to order a size 6. The size 6 comes in tomorrow. I have to try it on. Like, it's not... Okay, like, let me explain it a little bit better. The dress is not necessarily tight or small in that case. It's like the perfect shape and form within the stomach area. Like, the dress is so tight on top and it's, it's uncomfortable. So I'm like, okay, let me just go a size higher and... I ordered a size 6 so hopefully the size 6 fits. If not, I'm just going to find another dress. I have dozens of dresses. I'm just going to pull one of them out. I do have a nail appointment and a pedicure tomorrow, I believe, or I believe on Saturday. But yeah, I'm just going to grab some food. I'm going to actually have to cook the chicken that I left out since this morning. Um, it is 
is officially two days after my birthday. Um, it has been a long road. Let me sit down. So basically, I did not have the time or the money to order a new dress and to have it express to Canada within the time that I needed it. So I'm like, okay, by fire, by force, I'm going to be fitting in this dress. And this dress starts ripping. <laughs> I am on the phone with my friend and I'm showing her my, I can't fit in this dress. And she's telling me, I don't think it's you. I think it's definitely the dress because I know for a fact, I'm not that big like I'm really skinny like my normal size is a size 4 and this dress I had to order it three times the first time I ordered it in a size 2 the second time I ordered it in a size 4 and the third time it was a size 6 and it still wasn't fitting at this point I'm like full panic because I really wanted to wear this to my dinner but it wasn't looking like it like it like I couldn't fit into the dress so I decided, okay, I'm just gonna take pics in the dress, get it done with, and just at, like at this point find something else to wear for my birthday. And as soon as I took it off, guys, no joke, it rips in the arm. I like <laughs> what? Like I am in shock at the fact that the dress just started ripping on its own. But at that point, there's nothing else I could do. I decided to find something else to wear. I didn't really mind at that point because it's like at least I have a backup outfit and it's also really cold outside in Toronto right now. So I didn't mind not wearing a, a dress. Oof. In the past like couple of days leading to my birthday, I've just been like, feeling the birthday blues like i wasn't sad i was just like anxious about like having like my birthday come around usually it's like always oh, something happening but this year it was a really amazing day i had a really good birthday i celebrated it with a lot of my family members um I haven't seen my cousins in so long and it was so good to see them and to celebrate with them. I appreciate everyone's birthday wishes and your love and blessings. And I'm also so appreciative to God because he has done so much in my life. In the past year, my life has completely changed and it's really all thanks to God. Like I wouldn't have done it without him. I'm just really excited on the journey that he is about to take me on and I'm just so excited of what God has in store for me but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog um, thanks again to everyone who sent out birthday wishes and messages I love all of you guys and I really appreciate the blessings and wishes and I will see you guys in the next one